Goodness. Let's be thanking for his God. He has never changed, and we know he will not change even now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Let us be to thank him. Let us be to bless his name. Father, we just bless you. Father, we adore you. We lift you high, O oh God. We give you all the praise, O oh God. We give you all the honor for the things you're doing and the things you continue to do. We bless your name, O oh God, in Jesus' name. For your goodness over our lives, we thank you, O oh God. Thank you, God, for this Sunday, O oh God. For February 25th, 2024, we thank you for this day you have made. We rejoice and we are glad in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Today, by God's grace, we are praying. Our prayer focus is I will not die in the wilderness. Amen. It might not be a literal death. It might not be a literal death, but many people's career has died because of the things they went through. That short time, that short term of, uh, you know, that disruption ruined everything. They died in their wilderness. They would say, oh, it was when that sickness came, that was when I lose, lost my career. It was when this problem came, that's when I lost my marriage. It was when this one came, that's when I... So you can see that it was that thing that they went through that killed them themselves. So today we're going to pray. Bible said in the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 21, say, yet this I call to mind, therefore I have hope. Brothers and sisters, God has given us great word for the month, and I want us to just trust in that word. We're going to pray and say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for the word you gave for us in 2024. That word that says 2024 is our year of sufficiency. And even for February, that says that, O oh Lord, we are moving from our wilderness to our Canaan. And in this, I put my hope, and I know you who have promised we do it in Jesus. Now let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, I just want to thank you, God, for the word which you have given unto us. And in that word, we put our trust. In that word, we put our hope. For you said in your word, you said, oh God, that, oh Lord, that our 2024 will be our year of sufficiency. A season where men will say, oh Lord, there's a casting down, but which I said there's a lifting up. In a season where we shall eat to our field, even in the days of famine. Father, we bless your name. We give you all the praise. Thank you for the word for February. That word that says you're moving us from our wilderness to our, our, our Canaan. And in this world, we hope we know we will not die in our wilderness. We will not die in our wilderness, but rather you will move us to our Canaan. We shall not die small. We shall not die small in Jesus' name, but you will enlarge us. You will keep us. You will watch over us, O oh God. Father, we bless you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. First John chapter 1, verse 9 says, If you confess your sins, it's faithful and just, and will forgive our, us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. We're going to pray. Say, merciful Father, God, forgive me of every sin that want me, that want to keep me walking around in the wilderness. Any sin that I, I, I might have committed that is speaking against me, that is speaking judgment against me, O God of heaven, have mercy today in Jesus. And let me to pray. O God of heaven, I just want myself unto you, God, and I pray that let your Lord, your blood, that speak with that things, that the blood of Abel speak for me. I pray that, O Lord, you forgive every of my error. That sin, O God, that is keeping us in the wilderness, that is not allowing us to advance. O oh Lord, have mercy. Jesus, have mercy. God, have mercy. Thank you, God, for it. So we bless your name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Exodus chapter 14, verse 21 says, Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all the night, all that night, the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The waters were divided. Amen. Today we're going to bless the mighty God. Let every power in the order of the Red Sea that is standing before me saying, I will not cross into my blessing. Let the east wind of God blow and make a path for me so I can walk through it in Jesus' name. Let me to pray. Oh God of heaven, O oh Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that any, O oh Lord, Red Sea standing before me. Today I pray. Let, let the wind of God, the east wind of God, blow upon it to make a way for me that I will cross and enter into my blessing. That Red Sea that is not that does not that wants me to die in that place I am. That even the children of Israel said, "If we tell you that there's no grave in Israel, in Egypt, that you have brought us here to die, that thing that is before me, that is making me to say, oh, this is where I will die.' Oh God of heaven, today let the east wind of God blow over it and make a path for me now in Jesus' name." Thank you for it. So, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Wonderful Joshua chapter Amen. 6 verse 1 says, Now the gates of Jericho were securely barred because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. That's how wicked the enemy can be. Because of one man, a whole nation can, put, can be put under siege. Because of one people. At times some of us don't really know that at times 
that some laws are made that affects the whole 30 million people and it was because of one person that law was made because of the children of israel the whole of jericho nothing came in nothing came out you're going to pray to my father and my god cause every power in the order of the wall of jericho that does not want me to enter into my blessing that has shot me against that which is ahead of me let them be brought low right now in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Wow. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God. I decree and I declare that every, oh God, wall of every power in the order of the wall of Jericho standing before me as, a, as an entrance from not entering Thank enough God for anything not coming out to me. I say today, let those such walls come down, Lord, in Jesus' name. Let that wall come out now in the name of Jesus. Let that wall come out right now in the name of Jesus. Let that war come out right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God of heaven, let that war fall right now in Jesus' that name. No that war that does not want me to enter and does not want my blessing to come out to meet me. I say, oh God of heaven, let that war be destroyed. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Joshua chapter 3 verse 16 says, The water from upstream stopped flowing. It piled up in a heap in a great distance away at the town called Adam in the vicinity of Zeratan, while the water flowing down to the Sea of Araba, that is the Dead Sea, was completely cut off. So the people crossed over opposite Jericho. We're going to pray to mighty God. Dry up the Jordan River before me. Some people, it is the Red Sea that is before them. Some people, it is the um, and Wall of Jericho that is before them. And some people, it can even be that Jordan River. Perhaps you have passed your own Red Sea already. Perhaps you have passed that um, Jericho already. Now you are being faced by that Jordan River. Yes, you are already married. Yes, you will now have children. But right now there's another river in front of you. We're going to pray and say, oh, Father God of heaven, let the works of the enemy against me go back to those who conjured them in Jesus. And let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, oh God. We pray that every power in the order of the Jordan River that is flowing from the enemy against me, that is causing sickness, that is causing lack, that is causing, oh God, um, quarrels, oh Lord, that is causing fights, that is causing, oh God, lack of peace, that is causing shortages, that is causing, oh God, um, famine. I say today, let that works go back to those who conjured them. As that Jordan River went back to a place called Adam. Today I pray, let all the works of the enemy coming down to me as Jordan River. Let them go back to them in Jesus' name. Let it go back to the hand of those who have shot the arrow. Let the arrow be divided back to them right now in Jesus' name. Thank for the soul. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Now, in Jesus name. Amen. Psalm 118 verse 17 says, I will not die but live and proclaim the, what the Lord has done. Today we're going to pray over ourselves. We shall live and not die. That oh God, every form of death, physical death, spiritual death, financial death, career death, whatever kind of death. That God of heaven will not come near us Lord, in Jesus' name. We're going to pray, say, mighty God, I stand upon your word and declare that I will live and not die. My joy will not die. My goodness will not die. God's hand over my life will not die in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, oh God. And we decree, oh Lord God, and we declare, and we say we stand upon your word that we shall live and not die. Oh God, our joy will not die. Our peace will not die. Our goodness will not die. Our favor will not die. We shall live in the land. We shall stand upon the land of living and fulfill our days. We shall be like the trees or like the palm tree that lives long in Jesus' name. I say that shall be our portion. We shall see our children's children to the fourth generation. The peace of God is upon us. In Jesus' Jesus, die, in Jesus' name. Our, Thank you, God, for the soul. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Isaiah 28, verse 18 says, Your covenant with death will be annulled. Your agreement with the realm of the dead will not stand. We're going to pray, mighty God, overturn and cancel every covenant of death in my life. Every power speaking death to my life, to my marriage, to my joy, that all that, that, all that, concern, and all that concerns me be silenced now, in Jesus' name, let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, I pray and I declare that every covenant that man have been made on my behalf in the time past, that says, oh, we shall keep him now, but we shall take him later, that is speaking against me. Today I pray, let such covenant be nullified, let them be dissolved, let them be annulled in Jesus' name. Let, let such let God covenant be silenced. In the name of Jesus, every power, every power speaking death to, death to my life. 
to our, our marriage, to our life, to our, our destiny, in our, our, our family. I say, O oh God of heaven, let them be destroyed right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Jesus' name, amen. Luke 24, 22 says, He said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that it is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Jesus Christ's life was fulfilled. He did not just die in the wilderness. Everything about him was fulfilled. We're going to pray, mighty God, because all that is written about me to be fulfilled, the Lord in Jesus' name, all that you have spoken about me from the beginning, you said I'll be an author. You said I'll be a father. You said I'll be a great. You said I will, I will fulfill destiny. That, oh God of heaven, let all that you have spoken and you have written over me be fulfilled. May none of the blessings be all that you have destined for me fall to the ground in Jesus' name. Let's be praying. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, oh God. I pray that let all that has been spoken about me, oh Lord, that you have spoken about my, my destiny about my oh life before Lord, the foundation of the earth Lord, i said no we fall to the ground Lord, the books which you have given to me to write i said i will write all in G i will not lose Lord, one in jesus name Lord, i say oh Lord god the sheep that you are destined for me to shepherd over i said no will be lost i said you will lead me and guide me you will fulfill all my destiny i say all my children will come in fullness in jesus name but i bless your name oh god i give you all the praise thank you god for the soul in jesus name we are praying. We just be praying for the church. Amen. I go into Matthew chapter 9, verse 38. He said, Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field. Amen. We don't pray. Say, Lord of the harvest, send to your church workers that will work for the expansion of the church through Elijah Paul in Jesus' name. Let's be to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray for your church today. And we are asking, oh God, Jesus, that you send in laborers. Jesus, we are praying, send in laborers. Laborers from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, in the name of Jesus. Send laborers in the name of Jesus. Send laborers to your church right now in Jesus' name. Thank you for your soul. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Bible said in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 7. Say also seek the peace and the prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. It's true, my, we might not have been carried here in exile, but God, we are here. And if this land prospers, who will prosper? We're going to pray and say, Mighty God, I decree over Canada that your peace will manifest. That the word of God will have a place in the land, and the water of life will flow over the land, so all that is dead be revived in Jesus' name. Let's going to pray. Wow. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, oh God. Jesus. We commit the church unto you, oh Lord, and we commit Canada as a whole. We pray that you, oh Lord God, will be made manifest in Jesus' oh name. God. Thank you, God. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Canada, Thank you, God, for Canada. We will stand for God. Canada will stand for God in Jesus' name. Canada will stand for God in the name of Jesus. Father, we just bless your name, O oh God. We give you all the praise. Give you all the glory, O oh God. That as many things, O oh God, that the enemy has killed, receive life. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Our Father and our God, thank you for this time, O God, of prayer. And we know, oh God, that all that you have spoken about us, none shall be aborted, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. That, oh God of heaven, Lord, we shall not die in the wilderness in the name of Jesus. Amen. That, oh God of heaven, Lord, none of the blessings you have spoken over us will, be, will, will evade us, Lord, in Jesus' name. But rather, God of heaven, Lord, all that you have spoken from before the foundations of the earth will be made manifest in our lives, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for it, so in Jesus' name we are praying.